co-host Puppers, and today we're going to be talking about the Eagles. This is going to be one of the 32-day series, and we're probably, hopefully going to post one every day about a different team. So today we're going to be talking about the Eagles. Obviously, we're going to start at the quarterback situation. Everyone knows Carson Wentz is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. The question is, can he stay healthy for an entire season? And the hope is for the Eagles that he can, but if he doesn't, they're just not going to be able to make the playoffs. Nate Sudfield is not going to be as good as Nick Foles, and that's just a fact. Uh, moving on to the running back, they lost J.H.I., which is bad for that team. They need a good running back behind Carson Wentz so he doesn't get hurt. But Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders should be able to run efficiently on the ground. Now, in the air, they have some good pass-catching targets. They have good wide receivers. That doesn't worry me. And they have one of the best tight ends in the NFL in Zach Ertz. So the passing game should be fantastic this year. Defensively, cornerback core is not very good. But defensive tackle, good with Fletcher Cox. Uh, defense I'm a little worried about. They don't have great defense this year, but their offense should be able to carry them. Now, path for Eagles to make the playoffs is Carson Wentz cannot get hurt. Even if he's out for a few games, they're going to lose those games, and the Cowboys will be right on their tail for that playoffs berth. When they play the Cowboys, they've got to be able to stop the run with Geno Atkins. Fletcher Cox. They've got to be able to stop the run game with Ezekiel, the Ezekiel Elliott for the Cowboys. They have to be able to win those two games against the Cowboys. If not, then the Cowboys are probably going to win the division. Thanks, everybody. It's GGB signing off with co-host Poppers. So hopefully see you tomorrow talking about the Cowboys.